Welcome back to another OBS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be exploring the user interface and getting familiar with some of the different tools and options that we have in OBS. Uh, in the last video, we installed OBS, so if you don't already have it installed, be sure to check that out. When we first launch OBS, sometimes it'll come up with this auto configuration wizard. You can go through this if you want to, but just go ahead and hit cancel because we're gonna go ahead and set all those up and we can always get back to the uh, configuration wizard by going to tools and going to auto configuration wizard. So this is what the interface looks like when we first get into OBS. This big black area is where our video will be displayed, what we can see what's happening. Down in the bottom corner, we have this scenes and sources. We see an audio mixer area. And then we have all of our different options to start recording or streaming and to get into settings and to exit Open Broadcaster. So sources is where we're going to add something. If we wanna click the plus sign here, we can add a source like a screen capture, for example. And then we can add and see my screen right here. So I can see my screen and we can resize this and reposition it around however we want to. If I click the minus sign, that source goes away. Uh, we could also add something like a webcam. So if I go to um, video capture device, I can add a webcam in here. And now we see my webcam. We see myself here and I have some different settings and options. And we're gonna get into all this stuff later. But for now, ah, I froze. Let me get rid of this. Um, the audio mixer, so if I had a, uh, I guess I can add a, a, an audio source. I can add the audio from the webcam. So I can come down here and add the audio source from the webcam. And then we see that uh, lighting up. So we see that, and I can adjust the volume of the audio right here in this audio mixer. Uh, what else do we have? Scenes we're going to do later. Uh, and then the settings is the next thing we're gonna wanna know how to get into. So let me close, let me remove this source here. I'm gonna go into settings. And the settings has all the different options for configuring our video and our audio. Um, under general is just some general options. We can change the way that OBS looks. So we can have a light theme. We can have sort of a more colorful theme like this. By default, it's set to the dark theme and that's what I usually just leave it at. Let's not change anything in here right now, but there are some different options uh, that you can scroll through and get familiar with. Um, under stream, you're only gonna use this tab if you're interested in streaming. You can change your service, like if you're streaming to Twitch or to YouTube or to Facebook Live. Um, under output is the section you'll use if you're recording to a file on your computer, so instead of streaming. So it's either one or the other. Um, and under output, you've got some different modes. We can change our uh, audio and video quality. We can change the format that we're recording in by default. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Linux only, but it's on MKV, which is what I like to do. Um, MP4 is also very popular. And so you can choose the uh, method that you're um, exporting your video in, the codec. And you can also choose the encoder that you're using. So the nice thing about OBS is uh, it used to be you had to tweak a lot of these things, but over the years they've really perfected it. So you don't need to change anything. I'm just showing you these settings, but you can really just leave them all at default. Then as you get more familiar and comfortable with OBS, you can get in and change some of these. Um, the audio tab has everything to do with audio, but again, we'll just leave this all um, unadjusted. Um, this video one is where we're going to want to make some changes. So this is where if you want to do a screen recording, like right now I have a quite a large screen. It's 340, uh, 3,440 pixels wi uh, wide by 1,440 pixels tall. So it's kind of an ultra wide screen. Um, and so the base canvas is what you're going to be recording if you're recording your desktop or recording a game, for example. And then the output scaled is how it's going to scale that. So I could set this to say, um, oh, it just changed on me, uh, to say record 1920 by 1080, but only uh, scale that down to 1280 by 720. This is also where we're going to change our frame rate. I'm leaving mine at 60 frames per second. Hotkeys lets us set shortcut keys, for example, start streaming and stop streaming. Uh, and there's all kinds of different things that we can do for like pause, um, enable preview, studio mode. So we'll get into some of these, but for now we're not gonna set any hotkeys. And under advanced, these are things we're not gonna mess with uh, right away as well. Uh, we can hit, hit cancel. If we make any changes, like we make some to the video, for example, we can hit apply and it will apply those changes. Uh, if we don't wanna make any changes, we can just hit cancel and then uh, uh, changes that we made will not be applied. Along the top is also a menu bar and it's a good idea just to go ahead and click through these and see what the different options are here. And we'll play with some of these. Um, we'll get more familiar with them as we start using uh, OBS. But in the next video, we're going to actually start adding some sources 
and saving our first file, recording our first file onto the computer. So if you have any questions or comments about the interface, feel free to leave them below, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.